going on you guys welcome back to the channel uh, yeah you guys saw that in the intro I was just putting on the TST tail tidy on this bike I know I'm still slacking you guys want to see the installs and whatnot but I don't know man I feel like I'm more of a just like vlogger, not like you know someone that like films putting on parts and stuff like that. But uh, I thought it was complicated. It was actually easier than I expected. Uh, the TST tail ID comes in like more pieces than usual, and you gotta kind of like connect the wires and uh, seal the connections and whatnot. Mainly because uh, the connectors that connect. For your turn signals and lights and whatnot um they don't want you to pretty much like drill holes in your fairings and all that to make it fit so there's a small hole and that's why they kept like all the cables loose and all so uh you can actually like fit them through uh the bolt holes and then after that you kind of like plug in all the wires and you know Heat seal them, the, shr the shrinking. I don't know. I, don't, I see. I don't know technical terms with stuff like that. I just do the work. I'm like, yay, we're done. I want to get out so I can show you guys. We're going to my friend's shop just to hang out. Uh, I do have this light, which let me show you this cool thing about the BMW. It's literally like a car. So you go to my vehicle. Okay, they're going, so I can put it in neutral, and then it tells me what. Uh, that is for unlike most bikes where it just gives you a warning sign and doesn't tell you why here it tells me that my license plate light is faulty and that is because I did not connect my license plate light calm down homie I did not plug in my license plate light because I did the low mount mount which you're supposed to like run a wire through like a crack blah 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 or what some people do is they actually drill a little hole in the plastic so they can feed the wire through there but pretty much it, it seemed like a little too much work for me for something that I don't really care too much about uh, I think legally I might need the license plate light but I don't know if they're strict about it so for now I just wanted to put the TST tail tidy because I really don't like the OEM stuff that's what happens when you don't have an exhaust. I have to honk my horn. Ah, did I, have I ever shown you guys this feature? Look at that. So, if I hold my brake for like a second or like hold it down, it just hold the bike holds itself. So now like it doesn't roll. So if you're at a hill or anything like that, it just does that for you. <laughs> and then you just throttle and it releases. So yeah, I was showing you. See, I have the paper plate still because the bike is brand new. So I was like, I'm going to wait for my actual plate plate, uh, real plate. And then I'll put on the uh, light whatever. But I'll see if for sure Brent tuning or someone can, you know, cancel that light or whatnot. But what do you guys think about these? I wanted to do something different. The NRC is kind of like looks too plain and basic. And I wanted something a little cooler. And I feel like... These are very cool. We got the left. Now we got the right. They're all working and good. And for once I did like a low mount usually, uh, I just get the regular, I don't know what they're doing there, down pipes or something like that. Usually I do the mount right here, but tucked. So it's kind of like sitting flush right here. But this sounds like, let me try a low mount. And it actually looks pretty cool. Like it keeps the upper tail section very clean. So I like it, especially because it mounts easily to your, uh, well, bracket or passenger pegs, whatever you have on. Because if you have an acro, an, an aftermarket acro, I think it mounts from right here. Not like this one. And if you have like, passenger pegs and same thing but it's compatible with everything super easy to use yeah it was just a lot of parts because it was like 
this piece and then this piece which kind of like closes off the whole section and then these and then the these are like two separate parts that you have to connect so I like whoa usually it's just one big clunk that you stick here and that's it so many different pieces but it's clean and I showed you guys in the last video that we got the matching M lever guards the radiator guards and the spools the M spools and we'll probably get also uh, axle sliders for this bike front and rear I'll just get the OEM M ones so everything is all nice and matching and then a bunch of carbon and then there's almost tilt mirrors and exhaust too exhaust is gonna take forever again because you know everything is on back order pretty much so uh, we're gonna have to deal with a stock exhaust for a while uh, which is a bummer but I'm ask Bren and see because I'm pretty sure the tune that he told me about has like self tuning or something like that so I can actually run it with this exhaust and after I unlock the bike and then later on when I get an exhaust it kind of just adjusts itself or I'll have the handheld so I can you know he send me a map and adjust it myself but we'll get to that later we'll see how it's gonna be but at least hopefully I might be getting the slip on first and then the headers later because the headers take longer to be ready and whatnot so hopefully I get the slip on ASAP because initially I was debating of keeping the slip on but it's an M1000RR I want to I want it loud I want it to sound good you know so I'm not gonna keep anything stock on it on the rental S1000RR that will probably keep the stock uh, slip on and just do like stainless steel headers you know nothing expensive or fancy I actually kind of think stainless steel sounds better it, ha it has a different tone than uh, titanium but titanium headers are lighter and uh, more durable and at the same time they look way better especially imagine the color of the tie so pretty much what I'm trying to say is that I got full titanium system uh, you guys might know from who but we'll keep that as a surprise uh, but yeah got full titanium system and actually if you guys didn't notice so on the M1000RR even the headers are from Acro so they're actually not the same as the S1000RR the slip on is the same but not the headers I already have like you can see titanium headers and yeah everything's from Acro which is crazy like even this piece here is carbon which is not the same on the S1000RR I will do a proper comparison video when I get my S1000RR back but yeah so we're gonna do a full titanium system and I just want the colors of the pipes you know to show and look all crazy because I feel like the colors of the titanium match the colors of the bike so it'll be like really cool but yeah I don't know I just wanted to give you guys a little update <laughs> show you the bike with the tail tidy I don't think I've ever seen an M1000RR with the TST tail tidy and I think it looks really cool it was either that an RC which I definitely didn't want to do an RC because I don't know I just feel like they look kind of basic especially for this bike and oh that's my Acro slip-on for the Aprilia right there <laughs> I'm just gonna have a bunch of Acros that I'm just gonna hang on walls because I don't use them they're too quiet man and uh, Futurist Moto I believe is the other company which doesn't look too bad it's like a flush look with just like two dots right here but it's not unique to you know what I mean I wanted something that's more out there more you know cool and different just because it's a cool and different bike so I want it all to match so that's why I got these and I like how they fit right there you don't need to drill holes or anything there's like one bolt that goes through that's where I had to fit, feed the wires through so yeah everything goes Pretty much simple and to the point. Different, huh? The lights look fucking sick. All right, good. And I did. I don't know. What do you think about the red? Cause I got the red ring. She got blue. That's why I was like in between. Cause I feel like I have a lot of blue. Yeah. So good. I wanted to do a little bit red. Actually, it's gonna look dope when you press on the brake, red and red. Exactly. Windscreen. I didn't get a windscreen. You didn't get a windscreen? No. No, no, no. I'm going to get a carbon one. I just, like, don't know yet from where and whatnot. This one you should change the carbon. But that's the plan. And, and then put these stickers on. That is the plan. This one and this one, too. 
Yeah. I want to do this one too. So these two pieces, I want to change it to carbon. It's just gonna float. Yeah. The more I look at this bike and ride it, the more I notice differences between this and the S1000, which is good because it's a $13,000 difference just from MSRP. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this kind of like little update. I will ride after I do something and uh, get back to you guys. Okay, we are back. I always say that as if like, you know, you guys went on a commercial break, but to you guys technically, you know, it ended there and we're back right away. <laughs> It's getting a little chilly. No one doesn't have a bad seat, huh? Nah. That's a race bike, you don't need one. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, I was like, I thought he's just gonna take it off the thing. I was like, nah, don't do that to the duck. At least if you do that, like, you gotta give it a little speed so you're not like, you don't hit the belly. Why are you judging? I see you. No, I'm, I'm waiting to see. Ah. I, I mm-hmm. That was you when I first met you. <laughs> it's true. You barely knew how to ride when I met you. That's true. <laughs> we adopted you. I'm not judging. I'm just looking. You should you should see your face. You'll see your face. No. All right. I'm not gonna lie, that little signal is bothering me a little bit, so I might install the license plate light sooner than anticipated. Yeah, we're gonna have to take the streets because he just learned how to ride on a V4S. So see, as I said, you guys, if someone is safe, if someone has enough money, you could learn on these high-end, expensive bikes. Is it recommended? No, because I believe he dropped it one time. But, you know, it's doable, especially because you have power modes and a lot of electronics. And plus, he's like a big guy, so it's, I guess, more controllable for him. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should I get a custom C on this bike? I feel like it's already nice because it comes with, you know, the M seat, but also it's the same seat that's on the S1000RM package, so. It's like, nah, do I get a custom seat? Do I not? <laughs> I'm dead. It was really hot when I went out, and now it's cold. This weather been tripping recently. Also, I have some uh, fun news for you guys. I will probably be going back to Mally Moore Sports, where I got this motorcycle from, uh, to test ride that RCA. I saw in the comments that a lot of you guys said you want to see the me ride that bike because it's a unique bike and whatnot uh, I'm not honestly a huge fan of them I appreciate them because they're rare bikes and you guys know I like rare bikes but I think it's uh, I don't know it's very it's different okay we, we can say that but I don't know if it's in a good way you know I'd have to ride it to judge it but currently I'm just judging based on like looks it's not like too bad it's just not good looking you know but I heard that they are amazing track bikes, so... Oh, is he not comfortable? <laughs> Going between uh, cars yet? So yeah, we're gonna stop by probably in the next video. And uh, yeah, we're gonna ride it, do a little test ride. Hopefully, I don't know the route over there, so you know, I want to do like a proper test ride. A little, some curves, stuff like that, but... I don't know where to go, so it's probably not going to be as crazy, but I'll still get a feel for it, see how it is, because I've never been on a KTM before, and I'm always down to try out a new bike, so... Yeah, if you guys are in the area, or uh, and you have like a cool, unique bike that you want me to ride slash review, test drive, I don't know, whatever, uh, let me know. I'm always down to try out new different bikes, because, I don't know, I like bikes, and I think it's cool to try out different ones. <laughs> Violated! <laughs> the more I get used to this, the more I understand how nice it is because it's so like comfortable but fast and stable. 
<laughs> I heard him coming. I was like, where? All right. As I said, guys, we're just going to go grab some food and mess around. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe, share, and support. And I will catch you guys in the next video, which should be a little more exciting than today. You know, We'll try out a new bike. And uh, I'll keep you posted on more updates on the bikes and whatnot. And I will try to ride some of my other bikes. Because every time I get a brand new bike, I'm always just riding it. Because, you know, it's a brand new bike. And I really want to ride it since it's new. Well, especially right now because I have to put on those braking miles on this bike. So I'm definitely going to be riding this one a lot so I can unlock it and then can tune it and exhaust and, you know, all the fun stuff. <laughs> we'll definitely be seeing a lot of M1000WR, but I'll also try to diversify and ride some of my other bikes as well uh, soon. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next one. Peace out. Ride safe.